Air Force fighter pilots can experience force on their bodies that most of us will never even come close to feeling. To get ready, they practice here in the Air Force's human centrifuge. We're at Brook City Base, and this is the centrifuge. Um, G-forces are pretty much, if you've ever ridden a roller coaster, you kind of get that feeling your stomach's about to come out of your mouth. That's kind of what G-forces are. G-forces are forces caused by acceleration, and pilots experience them during sharp turns. The tighter and faster the turn, the greater the G-force. They call it pulling Gs. To help them learn to pull Gs safely, the Air Force does high G training on the centrifuge. Before training, the pilot gets checked out by a doctor and then fitted with an anti-G suit. It's like a giant blood pressure cuff that keeps the blood from pooling in his legs. G-forces stand for gravitational forces. We're at 1G right now. That's actually what keeps us from floating into outer space. Pilots can experience over 6G when they fly. That's six times the force of gravity. If I was at 6G, my body would feel like if I weigh 100 pounds at 6G, my body will now weigh 600 pounds. If my hand weighs 10 pounds, at 6G, 60 pounds now. You can actually see how difficult it would be for a pilot to flip a switch here and have to do a lot of other things while pulling back on the stick. Sometimes, the G-forces are so strong that pilots can lose consciousness. They call that G-lock. So before they fly, they practice methods to avoid G-lock in the human centrifuge. Make sight, deep breath. On top, breathe. One, two, breathe. Okay, relax. Okay, stand by. We're gonna set the limits for 5G, 30 seconds. Take tight, deep breath. Hold it. Your top breathe. One, two, breathe. As the centrifuge spins, the pilot's body is trying to go straight, but the direction is constantly changing. This pushes the body outward. They call it a G-force, or gravity force, but it's actually a measure of acceleration. Acceleration is the change in velocity over the change in time. Velocity is determined by both speed and direction. So even if the speed stays the same, because the direction is constantly changing, there's acceleration. An untrained person might black out between four and six G, but a trained pilot wearing an anti-G suit and using this training maneuver can go up to nine G in the centrifuge, just like this pilot did today. There's a lot of math and science involved with this. And I would just say, you know, study, make sure you're doing the right things at school and Hopefully, maybe one day you actually will get to work with a centrifuge. I've been here for about four and a half years. I learned from the best, and I just try to do the best I can every day I come in and, and get to play with my big, uh, expensive toy.